Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a working DIY bubblegum machine phone charger. If you're new to my channel and you'd like to see future DIY videos, please click that subscribe button. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. To get started, I'm going to recycle this sour cream container and I just washed it out really good. I'm going to use one of these plastic Christmas tree ornaments. The other things that you can use for the top are a water bottle or a soap bottle possibly. Just make sure that they're thoroughly washed and cleaned out. Flip the container over, place the ornament in the center, and trace around it. Using an X-Acto knife, I cut out the circle. and the ornament should fit tightly in the hole. Next, I'm going to use one of these M&M candy cane containers. Just empty out the M&Ms and enjoy those, and then wash out the plastic part and the label off of the candy cane. And if you can't find the candy cane, some other options are the cardboard tube from these glow sticks, or also a mailing tube. Like I said, I'm going to use the candy cane one, and here is mine. It doesn't matter if the outside is not fully cleaned off because it won't be showing. So once these two pieces are in the container, you'll wanna make sure that they're almost touching like this. To get the perfect fit, measure the bottom of the ornament and the lip on the bottom of the container. Take those measurements and mark off on the container. Take the candy cane container, place that on top of the marking, and trace around it. Then with an X-Acto knife, I cut it out. The candy cane container should fit tightly into the hole. For the next part, I'm going to use a small pool noodle. If you don't have one of these, you can use a thick piece of foam or a sponge. You'll just need to cut out a circle and then a hole in the middle like a pool noodle. I made a marking at a half an inch on my pool noodle. I wrapped a piece of tape around it and cut the pool noodle. Place the candy cane container into the sour cream container and then into the hole of the pool noodle. With hot glue, I glued the pool noodle to the sour cream container. Make sure before doing this that your ornament and your candy cane container are almost touching before gluing the pool noodle in place. Once it's glued in place, it should look like this. Make two markings on the candy cane container the width of the hole. Now make two markings about 3 eighths of an inch from the first two marks. I made a square box to connect those two points and then you'll only want to cut out on the long side. Mark off the center point and cut that. Fold those back to form flaps. This will keep the gumballs from rolling around inside the container. On a piece of poster board or a recycled box, trace around the top of the sour cream container without the lid on. Make two straight lines like this and then cut out just inside the circle and down those two lines. in just a little bit on the circle and then fold those up to form flaps. Draw a square just below the circle and then cut that out. Make sure that the square is not too low. Place 
place the cardboard circle in the container so it sits at an angle and then pull the flaps through the square. To make the phone charger part, I'm going to use one of these portable phone chargers. As you can see, the part to charge the phone and the charger are on the same side. I centered the phone charger in the bottom of the container, marked off on the back of the container where I wanted the hole. I traced around the phone charger and then I cut it out. I'll place the candy cane container back in, mark off about a half a centimeter, and trim it down. To make the handle, I'm going to use some of these flower buttons. What I did was I just took three different sizes, I stacked those on top of each other, and then I hot glued them together. Glue the flower buttons to the candy cane container. With some painter's tape, I taped up all the holes on the inside. I used some red spray paint to paint the container. Here are the container and lid once they were painted. Next, I just placed the cardboard circle back in the container and hot glued that to the pool noodle. To hold the charger in place, I'm going to use some Model Magic clay. I just found a circle object that fit inside the lid, placed that on the clay, and cut out around it. Place the charger on the clay. Once it dries, it will hold it in place. If you find that it doesn't, you can glue it down also. Place the lid back on the sour cream container. Add your gumballs to the ornament. Place the candy cane container back in its hole. Carefully turn over the ornament onto the sour cream container. Turn the knob, and there you have your working gumball machine phone charger. I hope you guys enjoyed this working bubble gum machine phone charger video. I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and let me know if you have any future DIY videos you would like to see. Until next time, I hope you guys all have an amazing day.